Today, the application is a one and three quarter inch stud about three inches deep. We are taking a multiple pass approach with round electrodes. Multiple cuts in a wide range of sizes and shapes from round to square can be used to remove the bolt. If the stud is bottomed, a coreless electrode will be needed. In this case, the studs are not bottomed out and we can use a round electrode that will produce a core. Our goal in this case with the two electrode process is we're going to send an 875 thousandths electrode offset to one side and then a 50 thousandths or 500 thousandths electrode, excuse me, offset to the other side immediately next to it try and collapse the bolt inward. Um, the way this process works, when we turn on the head vibration, we're actually moving the electrode up and down at a stroke travel of 10 thousandths of an inch at a cycle rate of 120 cycles per second, so 120 hertz. Every time we do that, we bring the electrode within range of the stud, which then strikes the arc. That arc is what cuts or disintegrates the metal. Once the metal's disintegrated, the coolant coming in from the coolant line causes a small thermal reaction, causes the disintegrated metal to turn back to a solid and washes it away. This is all happening 120 cycles per second. To check alignment, a witness mark can be made, followed by a readjustment of the head as necessary. The cutting process itself is not harmful to the operators and there is no danger of shock or injury okay. during the disintegration process itself. Using a hammer and punch, the core of the first cut can be removed. Hey, look at that, there you go. So there's the bottom.